Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I got a pretty cool video for you guys. I've been waiting for this for some time now to do. I finally got the Clockworks wind shield in. So this one is from Harley. I believe it's a 12 inch uh, clear. And I got the, I believe I got the 14 inch Clockworks with the lip on the top. I have it right there in the box. So stay tuned. If you can, do me a favor. Go to my channel. Click that subscribe button. Click that bell on top so you get notified of all upcoming new videos. Appreciate every single one of you guys. Let me open up the box. Let's dive right into this. Let's take this windshield off. Slap the new one on. Take a look how the bike looks. And then we're going to take it for a ride. And I'll tell you exactly what I think. Um, and I'll tell you exactly if it's better or not. All right, stay tuned, guys. All right, so I just got this wind, windshield by Clockworks. Open this bad boy up. Let's see what's in here. Oh, that sucker's pretty big. Let's see what else is in here. That's um. Oh yeah, nice. Installation is pretty, pretty simple. I think there's only like three or four screws on the front. Let me put this box over here. Let me show you guys what I have in here. Hang on, I gotta put you guys down for a second. Dark smoke. Windscreen. Oh wow, that actually, let me show you guys if you guys could see, right? And let me, look how far away, up and out. It's about, I wanna say an inch and a half, looks like an inch and a half higher, but it's actually further away. Look how, look how much space from the stock one. Well, it's not stock, it's a Harley one, but from the one I have on now, to this one, this one's about four to five inches forward, uh, maybe four inches forward, and it has that, oh, right there you guys could see, and it has that extreme lip. So I can't wait to ride with this one on. Let me put it on, um, I'm not gonna show you the install, it's literally super easy. You have two screws on the left and two screws on the right. I'm gonna pop this one off, I'm gonna pop the new one on, and then I'll show you guys how it looks. Let me show you guys the difference. The stock one is in the back. Like I said, it's probably, I don't know, inch and a, inch, inch and a half taller. But if I put them up like that, wow, okay. So the holes line up here. So that's how much away this new Clockworks windscreen is. And look at that, look at that lip right here. And this one is like flat and it's hitting my head. So I hope this one works. So that's the difference. And I got it in dark smoke, as you guys can see. Wind shield that came off of my bike. Um, do me a favor, guys. Give me 500 likes on this video. I will send, I will pick somebody. Whoever has a road glide, I will pick somebody and send this windshield out to you guys. Give me 500 likes, all right? Um, all right, so here's the windshield. It looks bad ass. It is dark smoke. It looks absolutely awesome. You could see through it. The camera doesn't give it justice, but it is, it is dark. You could see it from there. But you could see that lip. Look at the side profile of that Clockworks windshield. That's beautiful. Looks really good. <laughs> guys so done with the install takes literally two seconds four screws pop the original one out 
put the new one back in. Like I said, give me 500 likes. I'll pick somebody. Uh, write something in the comments. I'll pick somebody and I will get in contact with you somehow, some way um, through the comments. Um, and uh, you guys could also email me once I pick you and I will mail you that windshield. If you don't, that's not the stock one. I believe that's a 12 inch uh, Harley Davidson. So like I said, 500 likes after the 500 uh, like I get, I will pick somebody, ship that out to you. Um, so anyway, that's done. The install is done. I am going to go take it for a spin now and see how it is. Hopefully, because if I put my head down on that bike with the with the windshield before, I was getting no buffeting um, and just sitting normal with that other wind, windshield that I had, um, it was, it, my head was buffeting, um, going into the eyes a lot. So hopefully this one will help. So let's take it for a spin and I'll tell you what I think about this windshield. This is um, the 14 inch pro touring, I believe in dark smoke. Um, but I'll double check. I'll leave a link down below in the description. If you guys want to take a look at it. All right, let's go for a ride. <clears throat> All right, guys. So I'm by little guy's house over here. We're going to take a short ride. Um, this is going to be also cool because I'm going to show you guys, obviously my uh, windscreen, I well, like showed you guys it already, but um, what we're going to do is take a little ride and I'm going to give you a little review about how it works. And also we're going to go uh, live because Sandy, this is going to be a little teaser video. Sandy got, I don't want to show you fast, but Sandy, I don't want to show him yet. Okay. Sandy got the new Sony. What is it? A XAV AX7000. Oh.
All right, guys, we just stopped over here with little guy over here having some D&D &D coffee. We're going to actually go stop over by Ikea. I top undisclosed uh, uh, location. Undisclosed. <laughs> well, we're going to go to Ikea top uh, top level parking, top level, yeah. top level parking spot. We're going to go live for coffee. maybe a what do we call it? Coffee. coffee time for a coffee bike chat part two right. um so uh you guys can see that but obviously that's going to be already up i'm finishing up this video about the windshield so that is the windshield guys it works perfect i hope i got with the 360 camera a whole bunch of great views nice bike there so I hope um, I hope I got a bunch of great views so you guys could see this clockworks uh, 14 inch touring shield windshield. It works great. I literally have to stand up on the bike uh, for, uh, for for me to actually feel the air hitting my head. I actually have to stand on the bike before it was just hitting me in the head. If I duck down about two inches, then I wouldn't feel it. So I'm super happy with the windshield. Um, definitely uh, made a big improvement. And also I think it looks awesome in the dark smoke. You can still see through it as you guys can see. But it looks super cool and super dark from the outside. 